here we are at the fabulous Sonora Freeway track. A 5.34 kilometer run that is a place I like to go to test cars. I've been testing cars this week because there are cars which are on sale. Yes, that's right, folks. You've got the ETR1. We've got the, not the Donk, let's see... The T20 is on sale. We've got the Zentoro is on sale. And I've already got a uh, an Entity XF that is maxed out to the gills. And so I decided to put all these cars on the track and see what times they came up with. And I'm keeping this one short and sweet, ladies and gentlemen. Short and sweep? No, short and sweet. We're going to follow this Saber GT custom straight out of Benny's. As we talk about the results, let's put the results on the screen for you here. Ba-boom! And as you can see, uh, I'll be honest, I'm a little bit surprised at how close everything is. It's, uh, you know, yeah, the RE7B was a touch faster. Those are mostly stock numbers, except for I put Max next to uh, my entity. So I, have, I used my entity as a baseline. And as far as I can tell, as far as I guess if I'm going up against stock cars... I'm probably going to do okay. Uh, I might be a couple seconds back from You can see the difference between the, the stock entity and my entity was about three seconds. So we assume roughly the same amount of performance boost. Uh, you're going to look at about a three second difference between my car and some of the bigger, beefier ones. The RE7B is the fastest, which comes as a surprise to a new one. But uh, I'm almost wondering if there isn't a skill level thing here. Like, am I, are all these cars... Am I driving them as fast as I can drive them, and someone else might be able to take a particular car and, uh, and, and make it go a little bit faster than I could, making the difference a little bit better, show off the strength of the car better than I can. But the um, in the end result, though, what that means is for me, um, there probably isn't going to be that much of a, uh, a bonus from spending pretty much all the money I have, which is right around 1.6 million right now, and getting myself a T20, or for that matter, going down and spending another 500,000 getting the Zentorno, which is right on the, along the lines of the same performance as the car I've got. You know, uh, was a real surprise was the ETR1, not as fast as I thought it would be. But uh, here's a surprise for you. You want a real surprise? Right now, I am driving a custom Sabre Turbo. That's right, the one that you can boost up in Benny's. And let's see what this one does. Okay, obviously we finished first. We're racing alone. 2.04. So that's just one second off the pace. Ooh, level up. One second off the pace of the stock supercar. Now that... That is the uh, the diamond in the rough, ladies and gentlemen. That is a fast car there in the muscle car class. That's the one you're going to look at. That's the, the surprise of the whole thing. And uh, so there you have it. I think if you want, you're trying to think, should you buy the T20? Look at what you've got. Look at what it brings. Drive them both. You can drive them both as rentals here on a race. See if it's faster for you. And on that note, this is the Black Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night.